everyone, it's me again, Manuel Sam James Alka of 5SSES. For this video, I will be doing another integrative output in science, English, and math. Do you have a flashlight in your emergency kit? Yes! Flashlight is an essential item to include in an emergency kit because of how reliant we are on our eyes. If trapped in an emergency, it is vital to have the ability to see what is happening and how you can get yourself and others out of danger. For this activity, we will be doing a homemade paper tube flashlight which will be made up of solid figures and will be created from basic supplies found in our home. Yes, you heard it right. While doing this activity, we will make models of different solid figures, infer the conditions necessary to make a light bulb light up, and make a stand or opinion about the importance of solid figures in making a flashlight. For this task, we will be using the following materials. 3 volt light bulb, 2D batteries, insulated copper wires, scissors, masking and electrical tape, small cup, brass brands, safety pin, cardboard tube, and cardboard square cut to fit the bottom of the cup. So we're all set! Let's start! First, Attach a brass brand to the end of each wire, securing them by wrapping the wires around the heads of the brands. Use a cutter to open two small holes in the paper tube. Push the brands and wires through the holes. Orient the wires that so one goes through the top of the tube and one goes through the bottom. Tape the wires and brands to the inside of the tube. Next, tape the D batteries together. Make sure they're firmly in contact with each other, with the positive end of one touching the negative end of the other. Then, insert them in the paper tube. Tape one wire to the negative or flat end of the connected batteries. Cut a small hole in the cardboard square and then cut the square to fit the bottom of the cup. Twist the wire around the base of the bulb and insert the bulb into the cardboard. Tape the cardboard with bulb to the tube. Be sure that the end of the bulb is in contact with the top of the battery. Place the safety pin between the two brands on the outside of the paper tube. This will act as your power switch. Cut a hole in the bottom of the paper cup just large enough for the bulb. Place the bulb into the hole and secure the cup to the cardboard tube with tape. Wrap the cup and tube with more tape, covering both completely. Carefully wrap tape around the brads. Ayan! I am now done with my homemade paper tube flashlight. When the safety pin touches both brads, the flashlight turns on. And when the safety pin is removed, the flashlight turns off. the solid figure called a cylinder. For me, without the battery, 
the light bulb would not light up. And without the light, it would not be possible to build a flashlight. Also, in my opinion, without the paper tube, there would not be somewhere to put the batteries. Both of these cylinder items are important to this activity. Next, the light bulb that I used in this activity is an example of a sphere. In my eyes, it would be impossible to have a flashlight without a light bulb. Lastly, the styrofoam I used is an example of a truncated gold. I believe that without the styrofoam in the flashlight would be harder to use. So that's it! I hope you have learned a lot from this activity. Again, always remember that learning is our best tool for a better future. So let us do it every day. Learn and discover to become smarter. Again, I am Anvalsam, Chima Sangkat. Thank you for watching this video. Bye!